years ago. So off they go in the first of three semi-finals of the men's 800 metres. Warburton showing possibly just ahead. Will he adopt the same tactics as he did in his heat? Successful then, but he's got to come back the next day. Well, he is indeed going off into the lead, and it is uh, Rayner right at the back of the field at the moment, but seeing what's happening up front, and he knows he's got a good man in Warburton who's taken the lead, going through 200 metres, five and a half seconds or thereabouts. And uh, it is Warburton who's adopting the same tactics of trying to lead all the way. Well, he's a strong man. He'll need to do it. He's going to be uh, doing that tactic uh, two days in a row. But, uh, we've had uh, coming up now very fast. He's come right from the back. Uh, Rayner, as I said, knowing is a good man there. And he's settling in second. David off just behind him. Then Kana. And 51-54. So it is indeed a very decent first lap. Not too extravagant, though. Warburton knows what he's doing. Warburton from Rayner. Too short to go through. Then Kena Halusa is back in fifth place at the moment, but he's now coming up on the shoulder of Davidov. So taking a bit closer order, but he's some seven metres down. He's coming fast though. Watch out for Halusa, the former steeplechase champion, who's turned successfully to 800 metres. They're bunching at the front, but it's still Warburton who leads. Warburton from Rayner. Now Halusa moving up into third place, going past the German Kaina. Rayner coming up on the shoulder of Warburton, but there's still six men in this race. Warburton, the strong man from Wales, holding on in front, but here comes Rayner in impressive form, and also Kainer coming back, and they're going past Warburton's treading water. He's not going to make it. It is Rayner who makes it. Polusa in second place. Ripchick is third, and Warburton did spend, I think, after that very fast run yesterday when he so desperately needed to make a fast time. 146.49 and the most experienced runner and the best tactician there, Rayner, won that race. Indeed he did, but I think we're going to be looking at a photograph for the second place there because Repchit was coming up very, very fast on the outside and they just have pipped Halusa for second there. There we see Repchik. Well, it's not decided just yet. We're just going to wait and see how things went. Well, it's it coming up. It is coming up. Repchik is saying, you're quite right, Phil. He did finish fast. I thought Halusa had just uh, held him off, but looks like not, and in fact, it's one hundredth of a second between Remchik and Halusa. Very, very tight indeed. Well, let's see whether Halusa does get through as one of the fastest non-automatic qualifiers. Two men, if they're not in the top two, will also go through to the final. Here we see a replay of that. Here we see the fast-finishing Remchik just get second place and secure his place in the final. Yes, we just saw in the 5,000 metres how important it is to dip at the finish. That got Kovalenko the silver medal. In this race, it got Repchik the second place. Good run by the Norwegian, right?